turn now to ask you about China because we've been reporting throughout the morning some of the new measures that Japan, Malaysia, the U.S. might be taking with regard to travelers arriving from China. I mean, what inning do you think we're in uh, when it comes to the spread of the virus on mainland China and the ability of the U.S. to actually get data from China as it pertains to the spread there? Well, we don't have good information in China. I suspect that's why the administration is talking about putting some um, travel restrictions in. I think that they're going to impose some travel restrictions, some testing requirements, until the point in which we have a better insight into what exactly is spreading in China. It appears to be um, BF7 and XBB. So XBB is a variant that's a derivative of BA2. It's very immune evasive. It's, it's more contagious, but it appears to be less pathogenic. There was a study out from the, the Sato lab last night that was a pretty good analysis of that. They also have BF7 spreading, which appears to be a derivative of, of BA5, also more immune evasive. So people who've had a BQ1, a BQ1.1 infection, which is what's spreading here in the U.S., may still be susceptible to that. But the fact that we don't have insight into what's spreading is probably what's right. prompting the administration so, but to what would you do, place some doctor? testing requirements. Look, I don't think that the, the restrictions on travel at this point work. There's plenty of infection all around the world. I think if you're going to do it, the rationale would be that you don't know if variants are spreading in China that are more dangerous than what's spreading here, and you might want to put some limits on the ability of those infections to get out of China. So until you have insight into what's spreading, this could be a prudent prudent measure. The reality is I think China is going to be in this much longer than we perceive. They have different variants spreading in different parts of that country. This isn't going to be one wave of infection. This could be multiple waves of infection that happen simultaneously. So this could be very protracted. And if you read some of the reports coming out, getting published in the South China Morning Post, which covers this fairly well, the situation there is already pretty dire. Their hospitals are overrun, and they're in the early innings of this. So, so, Doctor, when you think about supply chain issues, for example, coming out of China, and we're seeing factory shutdowns and all sorts of things, it's, you know, the irony is here's China opening up at a time when all of this is now happening. Maybe that's a function of the opening up in, in, in some regards. But, you know, I think Kayla asked the question about what inning we're in. Is this something where you say to yourself, especially, by the way, if you're a Westerner, uh, you know, a lot of the business community thinking, I'm going to go to China. Well, are you going to China now? Are you going to China in March? Are you going to China in June? I mean, when you sort of think through the different waves, what does that look like? Well, look, I think there's a perception that China right now is having a big wave of infection and they'll get past this. Um, these are the early innings, in my view, of China. And it's predominantly because I believe that they have different variants spreading in different parts of the country. So you have BF7 in one part, XPB in another part. And that this could be a situation where they have multiple ways in different regions of the country with different variants, and, and they're, they're going to have to cycle their way through this. So I think these are the early innings. But does China. that mean we're back in February dire. 2020 in the U.S., which would then put you out six months to a year? I mean, what are we, what are we talking about here? Like, get a, let's get a calendar well, out. We had we had successive waves, but we had some, some lulls in between those waves. China is going to experience this all at once because there is multiple infection already spreading in that country. So I, it's hard to put a timeline on it, but I think this is at least a six-month you know, situation that they're in where they're going to have continuous spread for a protracted period of time. In terms of the supply chain, look, a lot of companies have been moving their supply chain out of China over the past two years, so I suspect they're in a better situation to weather it now than they were two or three years ago. I know that's certainly true of the pharmaceutical sector, which has stockpiled certain you know, raw yeah. active ingredients and moved certain supply chains out of China. But I don't know for other industries. Dr. Gottlieb, does the World Health Organization or any other global body have the ability to compel China to disclose this information? Because if travelers or if countries could say, well, it's spreading in this province or it's spreading at this facility, we're going to avoid that for now, but we, it's safe to go here then the transparency of that data, I think, would help a lot in the ability to make some of these decisions. So is there any possible way that that information can be obtained? Because you just said there's a perception that the virus is spreading. We don't know actually well, I think, what the real data is. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think you nailed it. That's the problem. We don't know what the variants are that are spreading there. We've tried to get China to share that information. This isn't the U.K. or France. They don't share it. We will get that answer. We're going to get that answer because the administration is going to put in place testing requirements. They're not just going to test travelers into the U.S. They're going to test travelers into Malaysia and Thailand. They'll test wastewater on airplanes coming out of China. 
that's going to give a very good snapshot into what's spreading in China by testing people who come out of China. So we'll have this information. We'll have this information because right. we're going to go and take it, not because China's sharing it.